Knowledge is power. Those words were written a little over 400 years ago in 1597 by the English philosopher and scientist Francis Bacon, whose establishment of the inductive method of scientific inquiry kicked off the scientific revolution, that remarkable explosion in knowledge and scientific understanding that has given us the technologically advanced society in which we live today. But how do we experience all this technology, all these complex industrial systems? Do we feel knowledge and power or confusion and impotence? In 1999, a Hollywood fantasy called The Matrix looked forward to a world in which most of humanity lived unwittingly, without knowledge and without power, within a vast computer simulation. The Matrix. At the end of the movie, the hero, Neo, can finally see and apprehend the Matrix in all its complexity, all at once. He can finally see all the rules that organize his reality. He can see its inner workings. And in that moment of revelation, he comes back from death. He understands the systems that organize his reality. And because he understands them, he has the power to change them. A Hollywood comic book fantasy, but also a parable of Francis Bacon's claim for the power of knowledge, the power that we gain when we can see and understand the technical systems that order and determine our reality, and how those technical systems interface with our lives and the life systems of this planet a parable that speaks to anyone who cares about the future of our planet and society. All of us who seek to leave the world a better place for future generations want to understand how this world works, how the complex network of technologies and industrial systems on which our economies are built may unwittingly be compromising the vitality of our planet's ecosystems and the collective health of our society. Understand them so that we can understand how and where our industrial economies might benefit from change. So with that in mind, wouldn't it be great if we could see the whole U.S. economy and its environmental and human health impacts all at once? Even better, what if we could see the whole global economy and all its environmental and human health impacts all at once. What would that tell us about the economy, about the world, about how we have chosen to organize our human activities on this beautiful planet? And more importantly, what power would it give us over the possibilities for the future, about where to be focusing to reorganize, to redesign human activities, to reduce environmental impacts, to improve human health, to make this world a better place for ourselves, for our children, and for the other species with whom we share this planet and its resources. That was the question that I started with a little over a year ago when I set out to apply my 20 years of experience in design thinking, information visualization, and sustainability practice to the creation of a new resource called Economy Map. That question, what if we could see the whole US economy and its environmental and human health impacts all at once? I set out to create an interactive map that anyone could use to understand which sectors are generating which impacts and to understand where are the economic signals coming from that are motivating those sectors to generate those impacts, to connect the dots to help all of us as citizens, as policymakers, as business people, as designers, to understand the connections between specific activities and their larger consequences for the future health of this planet and our society. As a consumer, to be able to see at a glance which are the products that somewhere upstream are causing really significant damage to the environment or human health because of the way that they're made, 
because of the materials that they're made from, because of the industrial processes or the amount of energy that is required to make and distribute them. As a citizen, as a voter, as a member of that great policy-making collective that is the American electorate, to be able to see at a glance which are the sectors that are generating the most direct damage to the environment and human health. Because these are the sectors that we should ask our government to regulate and regulate well for the sake of our health, the health of our children, the health of the planet, the health of our economy, and the health of our society. As a business person, to be able to see at a glance where in my supply chain I may be unwittingly exposed to risk because one or more of my raw materials are being purchased from sectors that are doing things that seriously damage environmental or human health. And that damage being done in my supply chain compromises my values, my integrity, and represents a real immediate risk to my business. We already have the data. U.S. government agencies already collect the economic, environmental, and human health information needed to answer these questions. And a whole community of experts have worked to analyze and integrate this information into sophisticated computer models. Economy Map uses these models to create an online, interactive, visual map of the U.S. economy and its environmental impacts. It lets us see the economy, explore it, understand it, and imagine how it could be different. I invite you to explore the rest of the Economy Map website, which introduces how you can use Economy Map to gain knowledge and understanding, and with that knowledge, to exercise power to positively influence the future of our society and our planet.